guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss May on my channel. I do a variety of lifestyle videos. Today's video, we're going to do a huge Trader Joe's haul with a lot of taste tests of the holiday items at Trader Joe's in 2023. There are also some repeating items from previous years and some new items. Before we start, like and subscribe. And after today's video, make sure you check out my other Trader Joe's taste test hauls and reviews. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. Item. This is a sweet item that I only got one for Brandon. I like the fact that like like actually single package so I don't have to buy a huge pack we don't eat a lot of dessert well Brandon wishes but just for the healthy factor we just like to treat our health treat ourselves here and there so this is the Trader Joe's salted caramel hot cocoa stirring spoon with mini marshmallows it doesn't have too many of mini marshmallows but it has like literally a wooden spoon with some salted caramel hot cocoa um, single package 99 cents all right so the milk is hot Let's it's so cute. <laughs> As little pink marshmallows on top. Let's stick it in there. It's starting to melt. All right guys, look, it's starting to melt. You can see the caramel. I can see the caramel. <laughs> so cute, little wooden spoon. Why does it look so ugly? Honestly, I'd rather have Swiss Miss. Really? Why? When does not taste that chocolatey? Because it has caramel in there. Yeah, I had, can't taste that at all. Really? What do you taste? It just tastes like weak hot chocolate. Swiss Miss tastes better. Really? Yep. And it's probably cheaper too. Yep. Buy Swiss Miss. It's not worth it. Let me try it. It doesn't taste bad. I said it was fun, but Swiss Miss tastes better. It's definitely not very chocolatey. Or even the Starbucks one tastes better. It's definitely not very chocolatey. I can taste the caramel for sure, but it's not very chocolatey. I can definitely taste the caramel, but the chocolate is not very strong. It's not very like hot chocolatey. It's like kind of like caramel flavor. I can taste the caramel for sure. The taste is very strong. This is just a chocolate taste. It's not very strong, but it's sweet. Would not buy again. You like the dark, <laughs> dark chocolate, hot chocolate. Starbucks tastes better. Swiss Miss tastes better. Not worth it. Like, at least it has good marshmallows, so. The marshmallows are better than the other ones, but. Really? The marshmallows are better? Yeah, because they're nice, big, and fluffy. But overall, it's not worth it. You cannot give him this. You cannot give him this. He just licks it. He's fine. Don't worry, kids. You'll never drink this because I won't buy it for you. This is also a holiday item. This is the Trader Joe's Cinnamon Bun Inspired Kettle popcorn so this is probably not healthy i've seen a trend that there are a lot of items at trader joe's they're slowly slowly taking away of the sunflower oil or canola oil these vegetable oil coconut oil and butter ground cinnamon it's like so good but at the end there's still sunflower oil at the end so the thing is like i feel like trader joe's is trying its best like to include like coconut oil instead of sunflower we're gonna try this out it has 16 grams of added sugar the sugar content is literally before the popcorn but we're gonna give it a try open right here okay oh it smells so good guys this is what it looks like like this this is definitely super super sweet popcorn mm, it's really really good it's very sweet so it's very hard to eat the whole bag i don't have a sweet tooth so this is like a really like a dessert popcorn perfect kettle corn with a little bit cinnamon sugar it's kind of like cinnamon but it's like how it's advertised i'll give it nine out of ten because it, they do it put the sunflower oil in there the flavor it's so warm and fuzzy it just tastes like cinnamon bun inside a popcorn bag try this one tell me what the flavor of this is caramel is that your final answer yeah no it's called the cinnamon bun <laughs> I don't think it tastes like cinnamon bun. You don't think it tastes like cinnamon bun? Mm, tastes like caramel to me. It tastes like cinnamon bun to me. I think it tastes more like cinnamon bun. Like I eat it again now. Yeah, it tastes good, right? Mm -hmm. You like it, but it's really sweet. Yeah, no, it's good. It tastes Us like caramel. Usually I can eat a whole bag by myself, but this one I'll just eat several and I'll be like, okay, I'm good. <laughs> I bought these for my friends. So Trader Joe's actually have a lot of good self-care items during the holiday seasons. Don't miss out. So if you're making like a holiday bundle, Christmas bundle present for your coworkers or friends. So I got the Trader Joe's moisturizing lip balm set. So the reason why I got it was because uh, one of my friends, so he received a 
Christmas bundle from Trader Joe's and he said it is the most delicious, the most delicious lip balm that he's ever tried. So I think anyone can use like lip balm and this would literally have all of the different flavors. So the flavors include Island coconut peaches and cream, vanilla bean, um, co cucumber mint, um, mango, and then the last one is strawberry um, guava. Strawberry guava. Pretty cute packaging. So one dollar each. It's not expensive at all. So I got two for two of my friends. This is a new salad kit. It's called the Harvest Apple Salad Kit from Trader Joe's. Other times, I'm lazy. I'm so lazy to cut and cook and find the seasoning or whatever. And salad kit is so easy just to eat some vegetables and fibers and vitamins inside um, with every single meal. So this one, it says it has spring mix, um, cheddar cheese, apple cinnamon chips, and pecans with apple vinaigrette. And this one in the apple vinaigrette, it literally has extra virgin olive oil, which is really good. But then the next ingredient is a canola and or soybean oil. So I just don't know why they have to mix two of them. Why don't they just use extra virgin olive oil on its own? Hope it tastes good. I'm gonna do a little taste test of this. I love apples in this season, so. We're putting the salad. We'll have the cinnamon apple crunches, the cheese, and the dressing and a little bit of pecan. So they're like four packs in these and they're all individually packed if you don't want to put any of them so you can skip it. It has a very strong vinaigrette dressing, like super soury. I'm gonna go a little light on the dressing for this one. If Brendan wants more, he can actually get more in his plate. Harvest apple salad. I'm gonna get a little bit of toppings on. Tastes like a Waldorf salad. It's fine. Waldorf salad? Yep. On a scale one to ten. I'd eat it again. That's not an answer to my question. Eight. Can you taste the apple flavor? Yeah. How is the dressing? Vinegar in it. Okay, fine. The dressing smells a little bit more sour than my liking, actually. Let me try it. It's fresh. It tastes very fresh with a little bit of the toppings on top, the crispies. I will give this salad seven out of 10. It's definitely not my favorite salad from Trader Joe's, but it actually tastes pretty good. It's a good change because I always buy the same type of salad. This is a repurchased item. Every single year, I got um, barbecue and black pepper Tuscano chopped salad kit. If you've been watching my YouTube video, this is my favorite salad kit during the winter colder months. Um, during the summer months, I really like the lemony arugula salad kit. Like, I think arugula is a little bit healthier than this. But this one is also tastes really, really good. During my pregnancy last year, it was like one of my pregnancy um, cravings. Every time I'm super hungry, I just ate a whole bag of salad kit by myself. Love it. Love it so so much. The dressing is not particularly super healthy and clean ingredients, but it tastes good. Okay, the Trader Joe's hot and sweet pepper jelly. Trader Joe's staff on IO, she was restocking and she was like, this is my favorite. Cause I was asking about the pumpkin one and she was like, she heard good things about it, but personally she hasn't tried, but she loved this one. Um, this one is the pepper jelly. She said it's really good on crackers. Um, it's really good. Like I was thinking like putting it on the bread of where the, on the sourdough bread. So I was looking at the ingredient. The ingredient is actually really, really good. The only problem is the first ingredient is sugar. So it has 12 grams of added sugar, 12 grams of total sugar per serving. So just be a little bit mindful of that because it's actually a very sugar item. But look how cute. And now I need to open it. There we go. It smells actually really good. It smells like habanero jalapeno sauce. Okay, let me see. It has sugar, red and bell peppers, water, red bell, but jalapeno peppers. The spicy scent just go through my sinuses. Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit of the jelly with the pepper. Just by the scent itself, it's like, it smells so spicy. Mmm, it's so good. Okay, it's so sweet, spicy. I'm gonna actually use it to flavor my turkey. This is actually a really good recommendation. In there, it's actually really good. Try the turkey on top of the special sauce. It's like Thai chili or something. It's like sweet chili or something. It's kind of spicy. Like would I eat that for Thanksgiving? No, but does it taste better than it just being plain? Yeah. It tastes better than cranberry sauce, I think. Mm. Well, just because it's like an Asian flavor. It's like top. What flavor? It's like Thai chili. 
It's the hot and sweet pepper jelly. Yeah. On a scale of one to ten, how would you give this sauce? It's like a solid seven. I think it's nine out of ten. At least eight point five. Oh, but this one tastes better. It's sweet and it's spicy. That was a success. Two other items. Um, one of them is recommended by the staff. The other one, Brandon actually picked this up. So, okay, so the first one is a seasonal item. Pretty sure it's seasonal. This is the Trader Joe's Everything But The Leftovers Seasoning Blend. <gasps> Everything But The Leftovers. That seems like an interesting item. The first ingredient is dehydrated onion, sea salt, and then salt, ground black pepper, rosemary, and thyme, and parsley in there. So I talked to the staff at the aisle and she she said this one it kind of tastes like the turkey stuffings it kind of tastes like the holiday seasoning um so like whatever you have the leftovers from the uh, holidays and you can just like use this to cook it ah i want to sneeze from the onions it does smell like the stuffing this has a nice fragrance to it this is a really good seasoning for like chicken breast like roasted chicken breast it has a very nice rosemary seasoning i actually love it you can also use it to cook like your fried rice any type of stir fry leftovers and you can also use it to season your salad your bagel it's actually really really good it's pretty interesting actually like everything but leftovers the trader joe's olive and basil pastel sauce i'm pretty sure we've tried it brandon's favorite is the lemon basil pastel sauce but it, with that one is seasonal it's not in season right now the first ingredients are green um green olives which is really good but this it's followed by sunflower oil and almonds and then extra virgin olive oil so we've tried this item before it has a little bit of almonds in there it also it's really good for shrimp pasta the only problem is i was like if it's called the olive pastel sauce it should be just the olive oil regardless the flavor is really good i do really recommend this one because the taste is really good my husband loves the trader joe's pastel sauce for our shrimp pasta in my previous trader joe's haul this is why you need to watch all of my previous trader joe's taste test haul it literally tastes test this roasted seasoned brussels sprouts with parmesan cheese i loved it so 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 much and this one also comes with extra virgin olive oil it does have natural flavor in the ingredients but it's it doesn't bother me as much and this one the ingredients is super super clean it doesn't even have any like stabilizer or whatever i think it's because it's also a frozen item so i love it so much it tastes really good it's just like brussels sprouts perfectly seasoned with parmesan cheese like it has a very strong parmesan cheese flavor i love it so i it's a repurchase item so i think i actually bought two of them there we go so we don't go to trader joe's every single week so i always buy items in two if i know i love it so so much item is a trader joe's organic beef broth it's glu gluten-free no low fat um so this particular item is a beef broth they also have beef bone broth i was like kind of confused which one i should get but i think i should have gotten the beef bone broth i think that's what i intended to get um, this one it does have organic soybean oil in there. Um, I feel like at Trader Joe's I was like, oh wait, there's there's so many items there. So I meant to get organic bone broth. It's just a little bit smaller and pricier. Also, it says it has soybean oil in there, but I don't think it's significant because like the total fat is very low per serving. So I actually don't think they put a lot of soybean oil. So it doesn't bother me if I eat a little bit here and there. It's not like if you eat it, you're gonna die. It's really like the overconsumption of these like type of ingredients that may cause inflammation of the body okay so it's claimed as a new item there are like two new sourdough items because the previously i always liked the trader joe's like brioche bread but for some reason this week it's gone it's not there i'm like what i instantly panicked i was like brandon which bread should we get brandon was like let's get a sourdough i love sourdough so they have a trader joe's san francisco sourdough they also have this trader joe's sliced cracked wheat sourdough bread so this one is is cracked wheat so it's more like a, I think it's a little bit more whole wheat but it doesn't say whole wheat um I don't know but cracked wheat if you know why it's called cracked wheat please comment down below have you tried this one do you prefer this one or the San Francisco sourdough definitely comment down below 
Brandon is crazy about sourdough bread, so we got this from Trader Joe's. And Trader Joe's bread usually doesn't have any additives, so put it in the fridge so they don't go bad really easily. This is the Trader Joe's shelled soybeans adamami with sea salt. It says it's ready to eat. I got it from the fridge aisle next to those like saute kits and stuff. So you can microwave it or cook it in the stovetop. This is really good for like um, stir fried rice or stir fries and you can just put them in salad as well. It has a lot of protein in there. It has six grams of fiber and nine grams of protein. Um, the sodium level of this one, the per container is 400 milligrams of sodium. So it's not, it's actually not too high so I would say it's, it sounds like a pretty healthy item because it was very high in fiber and very high in protein so if you love adamami get one of those like I know growing up my mom used to like boil the flavored adamami with like Chinese spice and other other spices and it usually tastes really good so keep it refrigerated and use within three days after opening so the next product is a repurchase item Brandon swears by this we actually used up the whole bottle and we have to go again so this is a Trader Joe's green dragon hot Hot sauce it's so 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 tasty the only problem is that inside of the cilantro puree it does have vegetable oil in there um, gum and only there are a lot of sauce in Trader Joe's that tastes super good and they have super good ingredients this one I want to say that it tastes super super good because we love this particular product like I we buy this every single year like this bottle will last you a long time the Trader Joe's bags are so big I'm like trying to dive down I got so many new holiday items in this bag um, self-care items too I, I literally spent a long time at Trader Joe's today just because there's so many new like self-care items I love self-care items I love the beauty items and Trader Joe's also has a 12 days of beauty um, advent calendar I was looking into it I think every single thing is useful and I have some of the products that I love from that calendar but personally I already bought some product I already own some of the products and it's like a mini size of the products I already own so I didn't buy it, but it's actually a really good calendar to try. So there is a new holiday candle. So this is the Trader Joe's chocolate croissant scented candle. It's soy wax, coconut oil, and bee wax blend. It's lead free cotton wick. So Trader Joe's has like a pretty good quality ingredient of candle. Uh, those single wick candles, they actually don't like they don't have a super strong scent. So usually if you have a bigger house or a bigger room, it doesn't really make your huge room smell like like it's not like Bath and Body Works or other type of candles. But if you have a smaller room, it will smell really, really good. The Trader Joe's was having multiple scents this year, but I really, really like this Trader Joe's chocolate croissant because this is how I was thinking like a lot of the scents they're like repeating scents or classic scents that every single brand makes but this cr chocolate croissant never smelled it in my life and it smells so sweet it smells just like hot chocolate and with a little bit of bread flavor so it smells just like cr chocolate croissant so I'm gonna be burning this tonight as I'm making like hot chocolate um if they do have like a classic scent I usually don't buy it because I don't think it's like strong enough um, I wish it's a three wick candle rub a Trader Joe's hot cocoa buddy scrub so this one I think is like $6.99 so I was looking into the ingredients as it has Glycerin as it's the second ingredient. Um, sucrose is the sugar. It has shea butter in there. I want to say that this is a hydrating body scrub. Body scrub that has like glycerin, shea butter, and, and the regular sugar, sugar, like sucrose. And it has like a lot of ingredients that like actually like very hydrating for your skin. <sighs> I want to say this item doesn't smell as good as the candle, but look how buttery it is. I'm gonna, I know, I'm gonna ruin it a little bit. Uh, look, this is a sugar scrub. Sugar scrub is not bad for your skin because it melts into the water, it's dissolved. It smells really sweet, I like it. I can feel the shea butter, it's very hydrating. So they have multiple um, body scrub scent there, but this one is the hot. I'm gonna go with the sweet scent because it's holiday season. If I'm not eating the hot chocolate, I am scrubbing with the hot chocolate. This one, the Trader Joe's rice crackers. I know they're not healthy, but it's just my late night snacking has go a little overboard because sometimes I'm so busy during the day and then at night I just want to unwind, watch some good old NCIS and then watch and eat those rice crackers. So I've bought those munchies. I bought three bags because we only go to Trader Joe's 
every two to three weeks and I eat one back per week. Oh, so got the Trader Joe's Brussels sprouts salt ticket. I did a taste test cooking in my previous Trader Joe's hauls. If you haven't tried, if you haven't watched it, like definitely, I really love that Trader Joe's haul because I loved almost every single item in that haul and I tried so many new items. So I love the Brussels sprouts salt ticket. We buy it every single year. It's kind of like a seasonal item during this like fall-ish season. And this one, it has like Parmesan cheese with a lemon garlic vinegar in it and it also has chopped hazelnut. The chopped hazelnut makes a huge difference because it's very fragrant and it has very nice crunchiness to it. I love it so much. The only thing is like it does have like the vinaigrette has a canola oil in there. Um, it does have olive oil later so they're more they're more canola oil than olive oil. If you're like looking at the ingredients, usually it, it's listed by concentration. It's a repurchased item. I have a dedicated review video of this one. And a lot of you guys actually like in previous my shop with me videos, a lot of you guys can you like share some of your recipes cooking the Trader Joe's Quickly knife cut style noodles with soy and sesame sauce. So in my previous like shop with me videos and stuff, like after trying this item, like I wanna tell you the noodles are super, 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 super good. The noodles are good. However, the, the sauce, the flavor is actually from the pack, it's actually not super good. So I buy it just for the noodles. It has four packs per uh, container. A lot of the noodles out there sold in stores, they're pre-fried. This one is just the regular noodles. It kind of reminds me of the Taiwanese um, knife cut noodles. So I was thinking about like buying this item and make a dedicated video sharing the recipe. So Trader Joe's Crunchy Almond Butter Puffed Syrup. This one, the only problem with it is it does have sunflower oil in there but it has a lot of almond butter. I love almond butter. This is my favorite cereal. Um, I don't eat as cereal, I eat as a, like a sweet snack. If I'm craving for cookies or craving for crunchy cookies, I get those. Um, I bought this one to make sandwich with the sourdough bread. This is the Trader Joe's Organic um, Smoked Turkey Breast. Hey Corey Smoked Turkey Breast. So it says turkey was raised with like all vegetarian feed, a free range and stuff like that. So it's like this. So. Um, it's a really good way to, you know, bring some protein into my uh, food. I also love the fact that like these ham and also the turkey and those like sandwich meat from Trader Joe's, they don't put the sodium nitrides in there. If you don't know, sodium nitride is a preservative. Overconsumption of sodium nitrides, it's bad for you in terms of like it's a cancer causing ingredient. Um, also, like it's naturally occurring in food. So if you actually um, eat a lot of preserved food, it's not good. This one is just organic turkey breast, water and sea salt. It's that use it within four days after re restock. I love it so much. I share it in every single video of mine. It's Trader Joe's barbecue teriyaki chicken. It's dark chicken meat with authentic teriyaki sauce. I always put like a pound to two pounds of mushrooms when I cook these to make mushroom chicken teriyaki sauce. It's such an easy meal. Uh, when I don't have time to cook, um, it just takes me like 10 minutes in total to make the whole meal. So got some Trader Joe's handsome potato fries. Love these ones. Those are actually like hand cut handsome cut hand cut potato fries i love it so much i try not to eat too much of the fries but sometimes when i have cravings i would rather eat these like than the fries that i get from like a fast food stores because i could just put them in the air fryer i do want to say that this one it has vegetable oil in there just so fi it's not the healthiest but this holiday season my willpower is going a little bit low these days okay so the next two product is also repurchased I got two organic rainbow cauliflower. I love the frozen food from Trader Joe's because they don't go bad. I put them in the freezer. So I love cauliflower. They're very nutrients, they have a lot of fiber. So this one is really good because it just have like the cauliflower. You season it yourself, you can put it however you want. It's very versatile, it's just frozen vegetables. I also got some organic peas. I'm trying to introduce Saul and my baby just celebrated his half birthday, which is six months. Um, so we're, I'm gonna try to make some more puree with peas and stuff like that. So I bought some frozen peas and then if he doesn't eat it, I can just eat them myself. So Trader Joe's Baby Shanghai Bat Choy. Getting a little bit cold 
colder. I know it's gonna be 70 degrees like in two days, but it's getting a little bit colder. It's congee season. So if you don't know, congee is basically porridge. Porridge is basically rice soup. Rice, it, rice soup is basically liquid rice. I personally don't eat much rice anymore because it actually spikes my glucose a lot. But every single year during the Thanksgiving, when we have the Thanksgiving leftover turkey with bones, I always make the turkey congee with ham and bok choy and mushrooms. And bok choy, I love bok choy. Um, the green apple sparkling water from the Trader Joe's brand. This one is like three dollars something for eight packs. It's pretty cheap and it's the best flavor that I found so far. I love the green apple ones. And Trader Joe's also sells spin drift. So if you've never tried spin drift, it's basically. Um, sparkling water flavored with real juice. I actually didn't get this one from Trader Joe's. We got this one from Target because it was on sale a little for a short while. Um, so for spring drift, my favorite flavor is actually the pineapple. So if you've ever seen those from Trader Joe's, um, if you love sparkling water with a little bit of sweetness, get those ones. It does have sugar in there, but it's a natural sugar from the juice and it's usually like maybe two to three grams of sugar. It's very minimal. So and also like the lime flavor from spring drift you can find from Trader Joe's. One I got. <laughs> A lot of these milk. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not lactose intolerant. This organic reduced fat milk. I always get four carton of these. I personally consume a lot of milk recently um, because I use milk for hot chocolate, for coffee, or whatever. I drink a lot of milk, so at least two per week sometimes. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. That's it for today's Trader Joe's haul. Thank you so, so much for watching and taste testing with me. Um, comment down below what's your favorite item to get from Trader Joe's. Watch my previous Trader Joe's hauls and taste test, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!